I knew there needed to be a balance between adding enough detail to portray the intricacy of the city while keeping the design simple enough to paint. Painting the windows and columns differently on each tier of the city helped create this balance. Another important thing I paid attention to was what areas were in light and where to place shadows. The natural light of the moon created the main source of light in the painting. I relied heavily on the reference photo I took of my 3D mock-up of the city for the placement and values of light and shadows formed from the moonlight. I then used my knowledge of how shadows work to fill in any gaps of information. Although the darkest side of the city sits in the moon's shadow, it faces another natural light source, the red glow from Tong's scar. Painting a subtle red tint on top of the shadows helped simulate this glow.